beautiful day out in Minnesota. Uh, it's probably one of the last we're going to get before the snow really starts to come down and the weather's dropped to the negatives. So I thought I'd come out onto the beach in this no access area, uh, no trespassing if you will, and talk about Harry Potter's uh, spin-off flick, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And I can tell you this right now, um, you're not finding them at the theater. Have been an aggressive way to start things out this is it's not a bad movie i'm gonna get that out of the way right away but is it a great movie i don't think so not at all is it my favorite harry potter movie no it's my least favorite by quite a long shot um i full disclosure i'm a big harry potter fan even the ones that i don't think are that great are still great compared to a lot of other movies i, I love the the aesthetic, I love the music, I love the the look of everything, the magic, the whimsy, the characters. I mean, the characters, forget about it. So when they announced this new spin-off, J.K. Rollins was back in uh, the mix, writing away, I thought, what could go wrong? Nothing really goes wrong, it just doesn't go that right either. First off, the music is nowhere to be found. Where is the memorable Hedwig's theme? Where are some of these other scores that just really bring the world alive? There's hardly any of that. Hedwig's theme is maybe uttered once in this flick, and it's very kind of low-key. You don't really notice it. And I couldn't think of another standout song uh, for the life of me. The film is uh, shot very nicely. I think David Yates, um, highly underrated director, or at least that's what I thought. He did the last four Harry Potter movies. He's doing all these Fantastic Beasts ones. Um, but after seeing this, I just, maybe I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't have as much life and energy as is required in the Harry Potter movies. I think the later ones worked to, with his benefit because um, they were such somber, dark affairs. But we're starting over again, so we need to rejuvenate the franchise, get people once again pumped up for more installments. This doesn't really achieve that. Instead, we have a lot of lackluster characters. Um, Newt Scranton, I can't remember the guy, Eddie... Eddie uh, read, read something, I don't know. I, I, the guy from Theory of Everything, he's great in that. He's awful in uh, Jupiter Ascending. And here he's just kind of, he's just there. That, that's, the, that's what most of this movie is. It's just there. We've seen all the magic before, uh, done much better. Yeah, they're moving some plates around to set a dinner table. That, I don't give a shit. They did that in the Hobbit movies. I, I don't care, I don't need to see that. They, there's some... I'm just waiting to get mugged out here on the beach. That would be a perfect end cap to this day. Characters are, are, are just not exciting. Um, the blonde cute number, the sister, she's the most uh, energetic and exciting of the bunch. The heavier set guy, uh, he, he's pretty fun as well, but nobody... Like, I don't remember the names besides Newt. Um, Colin Farrell's character, can't tell you his name either, that, that's also due to me just being terrible with, with memorizing names. He uh, is the highlight by far for me. I think Colin Farrell as an actor is hugely underrated, much like Yates as a director, or at least that's what I thought until I saw this. Effects, we expect at this point to be very good. They are, but that, that doesn't appeal to me, especially when Doctor Strange just came out a week or two before and that had effects up the ass. I need more than that, I needed a gripping story. And here's where the movie really suffers. Now the pacing is terrible. It starts out slow, it stays slow for a good 45 minutes. We're building up this new situation. But the problem is, it's not only pacing, it's tone. Some of the tone is light-hearted and fun and playful, but then you have this really dark subset with the um, the whole witch coven, the uh, the Salem witch trial thing, uh, there's this group, this family that's just got a lot of disturbing shit in play. We're talking child beatings and stuff. Yeah, the other Harry Potter movies get gradually get darker, but the first two or three are pretty playful and lighthearted. Even when there is darker uh, stuff going on in the background, it's told um, and visually shown in such a way that's not so threatening and scary. Whereas this one is just kind of, it's very adult. So to go from a scene where, you know, a mother makes the son take off his belt for a good whooping, then you go to a scene in the park with Newt Scranton uh, dry hump in the air to get a rhino thing back in his briefcase. You see the disconnect? Am I excited for future installments? I guess. I'm not. I'm, I'm indifferent. That's how I am with this movie. I am indifferent. It is in the Harry Potter universe though, so that automatically uh, bumps it up for me quite a bit. 
it is nice being back regardless of how kind of lifeless the characters are. I think there are some really exciting uh, things in it. I'm not going to do spoilers, I decided we'll just, we'll just stay away from that. Um, but I think there are definitely things they need to improve on and I don't think they should title the next one Fantastic Beasts at all. It should be called something completely different for a sequel. I think they've tapped into the Fantastic Beasts enough. There's one cute little one that steals a lot of stuff, that's its trade, he's like a platypus thing. By far the highlight for me as far as the animals go. I don't know, I don't, I don't have a whole lot, of, I'm rambling on, but uh, if I'm to grade this, or rate this, uh, as I always do, uh, out of a 10 point scale, I'm gonna go 6.5. That might be lower than some of the other outlets out there, but I hold Harry Potter in very high esteem. So when one of them lets me down, it lets me down. You may enjoy it more if you did, please, please share in the comments, and uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go walk down the beach now in a very picturesque ending.